ruining my dad's life. Uh, by the way, I owe your mom a huge apology. Yeah, I was about that. She's not my mom. Wait, what? Santa, open the door! No! Can't turn back now. You're part of this. Now give us the prototype. You have the prototype? Whoa. What's with all the noise? I don't get this handsome with all my beauty sleep. Tessa, I'm warning you. Dr. Crawford? Tessa's been working with Ginny and Crawford to steal the nanotechnology. What? You've been playing us? Well, yeah, she had a change of heart, though. I knew there was something wrong with the kid. I say we turn her in. No one goes in or out until the authorities arrive. Are we clear? Okay. You have to get all attitude -y. Get control of your operative, now. They've locked themselves inside. There's nothing I can do. I want that prototype. I'm leaving. With any luck, I'll be out of the country by midnight. Looks like your luck's run out. Get out of my way, and no one will get hurt. Oh, someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> Told ya. I give up. Don't hurt me. Would you look at that? It worked. Fine! But if I'm going down for this, we all are. No, 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 no! What? What's happening? The nanotechnology. Its protective cocoon just shattered. Is that bad? That sounds bad. It is. No, there's nothing to stop it. Stop what? All I really see is this goopy, weird stuff. Don't touch that. It's disgusting. And deadly. The nanotechnology is self-replicating. It'll consume everything in its path. OK, by everything you mean? All carbon-based matter, including us. OK, well, now I'm out of here. No! You can't leave. None of us can. If the goo escapes the hab, the entire planet is in danger. Uh, say goodbye to your friends. Lock them in a closet somewhere. <laughs> My babies! The spacesuits. Everyone, get in their spacesuits. They're woven with an experimental silicone-based Kevlar that's five times stronger than steel. The nanotechnology can't eat through them. Are you sure? Let's just say I'm more hopeful than sure. But it will buy us some time. <sighs> this is a nightmare. Even worse than the one where none of you come to my birthday party. My point is, it's very bad. There's got to be a way to get rid of the goo. You heard Professor Cato. There's nothing we can do. I can't believe this is really happening. I always thought I'd bite the dust by something cool like lava or an avalanche, not by chocolate pudding. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. Hey, you ended up doing the rat thing. It counts for something. We'll get ourselves out of here. Okay, we may not get out of here. So, I just wanted to say, it's been an honor working with you ladies. Y'all are my best friends. AJ, I need you to do something for me. Anything. Bri's gonna need a new best friend. Can you guys promise to always get along? We promise. I-L-Y-W-A-M-H. And I love you with all my heart. Don't worry, Cam. I already apologized for getting upset over my souffle. And I'll be there when she makes another awesome one. When I checked in on the last one, it looked delicious. Wait. You opened the oven and looked in before the timer went off? Was that a problem? Guys, maybe now's not the time. Cam's right, now's not the time. Besides, you couldn't have known that once the oxygen and nitrogen in the whipped eggs comes into contact with the air, it cools and collapses. 
I should have said something. You're still taking this hard, but this wasn't your fault. Hey, if anything, it's the kids. Come on, I can't be the only one thinking it. Looks like we have similar themes at work here. We do? For starters, you both stayed inside the border. Nothing messy. Usually means a need for perfection. Hey, even stick figures have to be precise. Speaking of figures, you both drew more than one. That's my familia. Colorful and grande. Mine too. The two big ones are my older brothers and the little one's me. You both painted at the bottom of the canvas. Usually a sign of insecurity, but I think we can all agree that you two are the poster girls for confidence. <sighs> Not always. My papa is a respected diplomat around the world. My mama is fluent in six languages. And my abuela created Cafe Adams from nothing. Sometimes I wonder if I have what it takes to live up to their standard of excelencia. I can totally relate. Both of my brothers are freakishly accomplished. I'm always trying to do something crazy awesome so I don't live in the ginormous shadows. Sounds exhausting. It is. Sometimes trying to be perfect makes me do local things. Like losing it over a fallen souffle and pushing one of my best friends away. And sometimes when I feel like I failed at something, like letting down my best friend, I kind of get uptight and just walk away. I'm sorry, Bryden. Hey, look at that. Your time's up. Mm -hmm. Astronauts who are lucky enough to journey to Mars certainly won't be cooped up inside the HAB 24 hours a day. The spacesuits you're wearing supply you with oxygen, water, and protection from harsh temperatures to carbon dioxide danger to, thanks to the thin EMI silver fiber lining, harmful radiation. Remember, those heavy suits will feel weightless in zero G. <laughs> T-Dubs looks like T-Doofus. Back off, Zach. I got you. Thanks, Ember. With practice, it gets easier. OK, I'd like you all back here at 7 o'clock sharp for your overnight. I think my helmet's too big. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Thought you might enjoy the extra breathing room. Switched yours out earlier. Who's wearing mine? Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew his big head would be good for something. Boy, I sure am glad you two are on my side. Always. Cam, can you believe my mom's going on a date with your dad? He seems really nice. Yeah, he's not really. That's not true. Yes, he is. They'll have fun. Or not. No, they will. They might. It's just a date, right? One date. <laughs> Gotta go. See you tonight, T-Dubs. You okay? Sorry, just took a brief trip to Planet Freak Out. It's all good. It is good, right? You tell me if it was a good. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't know if it's good, which does make me feel kind of bad. You can understand, right? Right? <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Hey. I... Did you get my star? Yeah, thank you. That was really sweet. But, uh, Michaela, I've been thinking and, um, you know, we both have had a lot on our plates lately. Yeah, and um, I was thinking maybe... Oh, wait, um, just... Let me finish. Uh, you know how much I like you, but lately, it just it feels like we're kind of off, and you know, maybe we should just go back to being friends. I mean, that's how we started, right? Sure, uh, of course. Uh, 
Well, I uh, better go. Oh, wait. This came with the star. Should name the star MC squared. Yeah. Michaela. McAllister. Just wait, even if we don't see each other face to face for a while. I'll see you every time I look up at the night sky. I'll have to do. Well, bye. Bye, Kyle. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Blackstar, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us? About what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? Kind of late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstar's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It, it took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're going to use it to hack into a government satellite up there. See, this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is, I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. And who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's gotta be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone, ever. Cam's right. We have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet. One of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here, take it back. Excellent work getting the prince out of there. I knew I made the right choice with you. Now that he's away from those silly little girls, no one can stop my plan. After tonight, no government agency can ever touch me again. I'll see you at the launch. It's going to be a glorious night. Oh, after tonight, everything is going to change. Where's the 
Oh, sweet twins. Well, it can't be far. Just look at all these irrepressible fangirls screaming and bouncing up and down like crazy. Oh, Let's thank all you awesome people for coming out here tonight as I embark on this epic journey, a real live, once in a lifetime historical event. I think there's one saving grace today. We don't have time to listen to his speech. As I soar through the clouds and into space and post my Snapchat story, I'm going to eat a Milky Way bar while actually looking at the Milky Way. How sick is that? We've got to figure out how to get inside that central building. Any thoughts? Maybe it's time for a little eruption. I have all the ingredients. Now here's what we're going to do. Hey there, George. How's my favorite security guard ever? Hey, hello, Cam. This is my friend Bryden. We just wanted to wish my dad good luck before the launch. So if you could let us in, that uh, would be No, great. no, I'm afraid the building's on full lockdown. No visitations during launch time. Oh, man, you're kidding. I was really hoping to... <gasps> oh, no! The sculpture! What happened? What a mess! A very pink mess. You said a little eruption. I might have overshadowed this. That was awesome! Central, this is George in North One. We have a possible break and entry.